Hi and welcome back to my channel and thanks for all the new subscribers for the Optimus Prime and obviously the people viewing that as well, it's fantastic. Um, I thought I'd do the, uh, more an update video on my um, Bumblebee. This is a Bumblebee um, statue made by Sideshow, Sideshow Collectibles and it has art, a lot of articulate articulation in there so you can adjust the moving around which I'll show show you very shortly but I thought I'd just quickly give you a small tour how detailed this actually um, is there's so much detail in in this piece and when I first got it um, see when you buy it on, on the website it doesn't look it looks okay and you can't always get the judgment of the height right as well to sort of see how big this thing is until you actually get it in the post and the box it comes in as well but this is actually a fantastic um, piece that I brought and I'm really chuffed with it. So much detailed uh, in, it. I mean, just looking at these, these, piece, these pieces here, the, the, the tire, the arms, you know, it's so much detail gone into it. And the first impression when mum saw this was like, I mean, this is damage, you need to send it back. But no, this is his battle scars, this is how it was actually designed and built. So it even confused my mum because she thought it was all scratched up and uh, needed to go back in the post. <laughs> But it's a gorgeous piece, and uh, I want an Optimus Prime version of this size, because Optimus Prime tend, tends to be in a very much a large statue, which is over 23 inches um, uh, in height. Um, unfortunately, they don't do this this size uh, of the statue. But you can replace this. You can place his arm um, from his cannon to an arm. Uh, you can move his fingers about as well. And obviously, there's, fair, there's a fair few bits light up on this. His gun lights up, his eyes light up. And I think he's got a chest piece as well, which we'll get a battery in a bit later to show, um, show you that as well. As you can see, um, if we scroll down, um, slowly scroll down, you can see how much detail this has gone into this um, piece. It's absolutely gorgeous, so detailed. I'm hoping this camera is actually showing what I'm actually physically seeing. I've got quite a lot of backlight on here, it's not a very good room to do it from but um, as I start growing with my social collectibles I'll find another place to actually show these off more better as well um, but my, my my idea is to um, put these on show, find a local um, place that I can actually sh uh, show them off to, to let other people to enjoy this as well I mean these are great little pieces, very expensive, collector's edition as well um, so they only make so many of these and then, then that's it once the run's done it, it's done but you can see how deta much details have gone into his feet, the back See Bumblebee um, is quite big against my iMac. This is an iMac 27 inch uh, screen, so you can get an ideal re reference between the, the, the iMac itself how big this this statue statue is. This is my hand, so you can see again against my hand. Very big stat statue. So here it's a uh, uh, obviously it's called Bumblebee. He's a Transformer uh, from he's a premium scale collectible figure uh, from the first series uh, from Sideshow Collectibles. Um, stands over f uh, 15 inches tall. Uh, collectible figure of over 60, 65 points are articulation. Get that mouthful that is, including articulated fingers, which means fingers move. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got a problem that word. Uh, comes with light up features, including light up cannon and a detachable combat face shield, which is this one at its base here. Um, yeah, 15 inches tall, 38.1 centimeters tall, and 12 inches uh, wide. Um, fully posable, 65 points of articulation. Uh, interchangeable right arm and left cannon. Includes detachable compact face, lights up features on eyes, chest, and cannon. Um, haven't got actually got any batteries in this, but I might do a follow-up video on this to show you um, how he looks with his light up features. Um, first, we need to know he weighs 20 pounds. Uh, in weight, um, so yeah, there you go. He's he cost me three hundred and uh, three hundred ninety dollars from Sideshow Collectibles. Unfortunately, you can't buy 
him anymore from Sideshow Collectible. It's all sold out. So they don't make any more now. Um, it was a limited edition. I'm not sure. can't remember how many I've actually physically made. Um, sometimes they actually write these on the statue itself. But that's it. So I'll put details below where you can actually go to Sideshow Collectible. So you, they always do different versions um, coming out very shortly. Um, so it's worth keeping an eye on Sideshow Collectible all the time. Especially if new films come out, they tend to do different versions of Bumblebee, uh, Optimus Prime, and all, all the other figures as well. It's always good to sort of check out as well. I always constantly check weekly, and I'm s definitely sign up to the mail order site so you can get all the updates of what's new available coming. They do lots of all the old 80s shows. They've got um, Hellraiser. They've got um, uh, Freddy Krueger coming out and stuff. So it's definitely worth checking the website out itself. So, a very small video, so if you like this video and want to see more details or want me to go a bit more, we'll, we'll probably actually do a posing video to follow up to this one, where we can pose him in different positions and stuff. And what I'll do is we'll, we'll get him into those famous movie poses that you see him quite regularly through when you're watching the Transformer films and stuff. I want to get a nice background drop from the film so that that'll look great actually posing against it as well, rather than just my, my, front, my computer room itself. So um, if you like this and want to see more and you want me to see, see a posing video for him, put him in different positions, show how much he can be uh, moved about and posed and stuff, then carry on subscribing, uh, like this video, put your thumbs up, make any comments, if you've got any answers, questions against this, want to see a bit more detail and stuff like that. I'm going to get a website up, up soon um, and really put some high quality images of these statues so you can really see them uh, you know, in its full, what, as I'm seeing them, because it's very difficult to... Uh, I'm hoping this camera gives it a nice 4K sort of um, look so you can really sort of appreciate the colours, how much details have gone into um, uh, Bumblebee himself. So anyway, I'm going to leave it to that. So remember, comment below if you want to see a posing video of this uh, as, a, as a second video, let me know and uh, I'll make it. So thanks for watching guys and thanks for all the thumbs up, all the subscribers and all the likes. Cheers for now. Bye.